asked the most often or Ben, what's your diet like? Or Ben, what supplements do you take to get so ripped and so jacked? And so I'm going to tell you right now. I want to make one thing very clear from the very beginning. I am sponsored by Granite Supplements, so I am going to be explaining a couple of their supplements, a couple of their products that I use. I want to be very honest with you guys. I don't like selling stuff, so please do not by any means feel obligated or feel like Ben's trying to push these supplements on you. The reason I am with Granite the reason I'm with Elite FDS, the reason I work with any of the companies I work with is because I really believe in their products. So I reached out to Ed Koo and to John Meadows because I think they're some of the smartest, most intelligent guys in the industry. I really trust the things they put out. And so if you're asking me what supplements do I recommend, what supplements do I take, I, I have to tell you that because it's the truth. I do, however, take some other stuff and I'll tell you that as well. So I also want to say one other thing. This is going to be a part of a series on nutrition. I've gotten a little bit of feedback that says, hey, Ben, you know, these videos are great, but they, they'd be better if they were a little bit shorter. And so I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to split this up into topics, talk about the supplements I take, talk about what I eat around my workouts, talk about my overall diet plan. But those will be in kind of a series that I'll release over time. And if you have any other feedback for me, please post it below because I really, really appreciate your guys' help in, in making this something that's useful to you and fun and, and engaging. So, to get started with, I'm going to start with my number one favorite supplement, the Adamantium Aminos. These are my favorite for two reasons. Number one, everybody tells me I look like Wolverine, and I figure if I drink enough of these, I might have some chance of turning into him. So, that's why they're my go-to. They also taste like Jolly Ranchers, if you get the, uh, the uh, Gamma Green Apple flavor. So, totally honest, that is why I drink those pretty much non-stop. There is actually a lot of good research that shows that leucine and some of the other branched chain amino acids around your workouts can really help to trigger your body to build muscle. And so they, there is some science behind there that says, hey, this is something that's worth taking and can really increase the benefits that you're getting from your workouts. The uh, adamantium aminos in particular are actually essential amino acids, so a little bit different from BCAAs in that they have all the different amino acids that your body can't produce on its own in order to make protein. So they're a little bit better for that reason. If you have a you know particular brand of BCAAs that you like or EAAs that you like, stick with that. You know, there's there's no reason to switch if something's working for you. But if you don't, I really encourage you to give that one a try. My girlfriend really likes Controlled Labs product. I think it's called Purple Wrath. Uh, I don't. It has some beta alanine in it, some other stuff that I don't really like, and so I, I kind of avoid that one. So that's number one, BCAAs. Number two, and I'm going to go in kind of the order that I I consume these products. And number two is the thing that I take around my workouts. So there's actually two products that I use. Again, both from Granite. Arc reactors, they're pre-workout, so I take that because the pumps are insane. And you'll hear a lot online about how the pumps don't really matter or anything, but in truth, if you're trying to build muscle, the pump is very important. The pump is blood that's bringing nutrients to your muscle and helping your muscles grow, so you, you want to encourage that. Now, it's not necessarily a sign of progress. I think that's where some people get confused. Just because you're getting a sick pump doesn't really mean that you're building muscle if you're not doing all the things outside of the gym that you need to in order to support that muscular growth. So that's, that's an important distinction to make. And the other one is the Recovery Factor X, which is an intra-workout blend. It has carbohydrates, has some other great stuff to help your pump. has some EAAs, just like the adamantium aminos. And guys, carbohydrates during your workout are super, super, super important. I'm really gonna talk about this a little bit more in my next video when we're talking about circa workout nutrition, what you're eating around during, before, and after your workouts. But if you're not eating enough carbs during your training, no matter how much you've had before, no matter how much you have, plan on having afterwards, if you're having long workouts, so my workouts in the gym, especially I'm five weeks out of Reebok Record Breakers, my workouts can go two, three hours at a time. And by the end of that, I am drained. So if I'm not getting something during my workouts, the second half of the workout, I'm phoning it in. That's basically worthless. So it's very important to make sure that, you know, based on whatever your training is like, that you're providing yourself the nutrition necessary to support that training. And we'll talk about that more in the future. So that covers the granite products. I do have a couple other products that I want to talk about. The first is creatine. So I use a straight up creatine monohydrate. Now the arc reactor does have some creatine in it, but in my opinion, you need to take more creatine than most people do in order to see results. For a long, long time, I thought it was a non-responder to creatine. And what it turned out was I actually wasn't taking enough. So a lot of products will tell you you need a loading phase and then 
you can do a maintenance phase of five grams per day, but I found that I really need 10 grams of creatine per day, and I, I don't really bother with the loading. But if I get that, I see big results. I see that you know my strength and endurance at the gym goes up. I do gain a few pounds of water weight, and so if you have a weight class that you're trying to make, or you know you want to look good for a photo shoot or a bodybuilding show, then that's something you need to pay attention to. But otherwise, I think you should take creatine all the time. Again, studies show how safe and effective it is. If you're a power lifter specifically, there's absolutely no reason you should not be taking creatine. It's a must, must in my opinion. The next one up is fish oil. So this one, I'll be honest, I take this for the health benefits. Some people say that fish oil decreases inflammation in your body. I have not found that to be the case. You know, even if my joints are fucking swollen, I feel terrible, beat up, taking more of this does not seem to help. However, this again, tastes incredible. You might notice kind of a trend in what supplements I choose. This is Barleyans. It's the uh, the fish oil mango swirl. So it's, uh, I don't know, they put some stuff in there so it doesn't taste like fish and you don't get the nasty burps or whatever, but it's delicious. Can't get my girlfriend to take this one either. Um, I haven't figured out why, but uh, yeah, highly recommend this brand. It is super expensive, but you can get it at Walgreens. I'm sorry, not Walgreens, but uh, Whole Foods or some type of health food store like that, and it lasts for a long time. There's 43 servings in this bottle, so definitely recommend this brand. I take a calcium, magnesium, and zinc supplement. So if you take a ZMA, that's it's pretty similar. The B, B vitamins and the ZMA kind of kind of mess with me at nighttime, so I avoid that. Instead, I take this. I'm really taking it for, for all three. I think if you're a guy, it's very important that you're getting some zinc in your diet, and it's, it's easier to, to supplement with zinc to make sure that you're getting enough that you need. Magnesium, again, if you're lifting, very important electrolyte. Magnesium, for me, I find that if I don't have enough, my muscles feel very tight at night, especially at night, and that makes it so difficult for me to sleep. And so I find that supplementing with magnesium helps as well. And then finally, I'm allergic to dairy products, and so, you know, I drink a lot of almond milk, I eat a lot of broccoli and spinach, but still, I want to make sure that I'm getting enough calcium in my diet, especially for all the weight-bearing activity that I do, and so the calcium in there helps as well. And then last but not least, I mentioned my uh, problems with sleep. So sometimes if I'm having a really not rough night and it's 2 a.m. and I'm like, there's no, no fucking way that I'm falling asleep that night. I take uh, half a scoop of this product. This is called Sedation. It's made by a company uh, called Vein Nutrition. I have no idea who owns Vein Nutrition. I have no connection with them. But I do really like this product. Another product I like is called Anesthize, I think is how you pronounce it. It's by uh, Black Star Labs. Those are both very good. I only take half a scoop of either one because if I take too much, I feel a little bit groggy in the morning. They have things in the melatonin, valerian root, GABA, all those things really help me. And so it's just easier to get, get a little blend of that so I don't have to take you know each one individually. But I don't like doing it very often because then I find it doesn't work as well. And I also don't like taking a full scoop again because I end up groggy. And especially if I have to train the next day, I feel a little bit off for that. So that's all the supplements that I take on a regular basis. I think one I, I one topic I didn't mention was kind of joint and kind of aches and pains and what I do for that. Honest truth with you guys, I take a leave for, for my aches and pains. It's, you know, I, pre I would prefer not to. It's not the healthiest thing, but uh, yeah, especially when I'm close to a competition, it's every workout. My, my knees are hurting, my elbows are hurting, so uh, I kind of have to do it to get through my training. I honestly I don't buy the the studies that tell you these are going to destroy your muscle building potential because I've been doing it for a while and I seem to be doing just fine in the muscle building department. But the fact is it's not a healthy thing to do long term. And so I try to avoid those as much as possible, but if I need to get through a workout, I need to get through a workout. Now, after a meet it's a different story. I'll do whatever I can to avoid taking those things, but yeah, when it, when it comes time to meat prep, I really have to put all that stuff kind of aside for, for at least a month or two so that I can I can grind through my workouts. So, unfortunately, I don't have a better solution for you than that. I haven't found things like glucosamine or chondroitin. I haven't found those to be super helpful. Um, you know, if you go to a doctor, they can give you some topical stuff that might help. I also do like a lot of topical lotions and liniments that I use during my training, stuff like Icy Hot or Capsaicin that I use to, to keep my joints warm and then always protect them with some type of knee sleeve. So knee sleeve or elbow sleeve. So if you all are interested in that, I can do another video on it. I know there wasn't a lot visually going on here. I just kind of wanted to show you the products I use, the brands I use. The next next one will be a little bit more interesting. We'll do some recipes, see some other stuff that you guys might find engaging or fun or whatever. And if you have any ideas, please, please again, let me know. But that's all for today. We'll hit you up later with some videos on bench press, me and Mike. 
about how to use chains and bands effectively because again, area where I see a lot of people doing the wrong sorts of things. But got a lot of stuff in the works. I'm really excited. Uh, got a new setup with some lighting. Got a mic in, so hopefully the production value of these keeps going up, and I can keep you guys kind of engaged and coming back for more. So thank you.